Uh, my name is Joshua Cole again, and this is another one of my video tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to create, well actually how to send a UDP packet to a specified IP address and port. So to start, we're going to have to go to the top of our new project and include using system.io, using system.net, and using system.net.sockets. These three imports, uh, except for I.O., we don't actually use I.O., but it's good to have in there if you're doing networking stuff anyway. So, to begin, I'm going to create the actual packet that I want to send. A packet is just sort of like data. So, I'm going to start by creating a byte, open square bracket, close square bracket. That means a byte array. I'll say packet data equals, I go encoding dot ascii dot get bytes and this will actually allow me to convert a string into a byte array and byte arrays are what um, sockets like to use so in this byte array I just put a open parenthesis quotation mark and then I can specify the packet of data here and then a close uh, quotation mark close parenthesis semicolon so that just converted my string into a byte array the next thing I have to do is, well I don't have to, but I'm going to create two variables, a string IP address, and this will be the IP address that I'm going to be sending to uh, the packet to. And so string IP address equals quotation mark 127.0.0.1, close quotation mark, semicolon. Uh, this address actually refers to the local computer, that's what it means. It's universal for the current local host that you're on. It's actually another word for it is localhost. And then I'm going to go int port equals 80. 80. This can be any port number you want. And so after I have this, it makes it easy to go and change the IP address or the port because it's all contained in this nice section. And you can even put a comment if you want. Port and IP data for socket server. Well, client actually. And so then, under that, I can go IP endpoint EP equals a new IP endpoint. And basically, this is just an object that we use when we send the request, when we send the packet. It specifies where the packet of data is going to go to. So, I have to actually parse out the IP address. IP address is actually an object that's built into one of the headers we're including. So we go IP address dot parse. Oh shoot. IP address is something I shouldn't have done. I should have named that. So I changed the name of the string to just regular IP. And then down here I go IP address dot parse IP comma port close parenthesis semicolon. And so what this line of code does is it changes, or it converts the string IP address into an IP address object, and it creates this IP endpoint, which we can then use later on to specify where our packet of data is going to go. So after that, I create a socket, and this will be called client equals new socket, open parenthesis, and this is going to store basically the socket. So we go address family dot inner network comma socket type dot dgram diagram comma protocol type dot udp oops close parenthesis semicolon so this socket will allow us to actually send the data that we want so then we merely go client dot send Oh my gosh, send to, and then we say packet data because that's the byte array that we declared earlier, comma, EP because that's the endpoint, close parenthesis, semicolon, and that's it. Now when I run this app, I go debug, start without debugging, and it essentially sent this packet of data to my computer on port 80. So if you wanted to mess around with this and, for example, send lots of packets really quickly, you could just put this in, for example, a while true loop. And that will send the data constantly. And I'm sure there are other options. You don't want to do that there. 
like client dot um, I haven't screwed around with all the uh, options but send timeout equals one that will make it so it times out really quickly which is good if you want to send lots of packets somewhere for example and really that's all there is to it so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I hope it helps with your packet sending endeavors in the future and thank you for watching my video